it's always a pleasure coming to the Armenian Radio Hour of New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the purpose of this CD was really to replicate uh, some of the magic that's been happening in our local parish uh, at the St. Leon Sunday School over the past 10 to 15 years. Uh, the church does have a long, successful history of many generations, multi-generations. But something's been changing over the years of... Um, a very diverse population, and how we can best meet the needs of our young Armenian families. Uh, I myself grew up uh, in the Armenian church, and I wore a shabig every Sunday. Mm-hmm. I, I am not a Sunday school child, mm-hmm. uh, but I wore a shabig and I sang in the church choir every Sunday. Uh, so my connection to this music goes back. I sang my first solo, uh, thanks to Armen Babamian, uh, when I was seven years old on Armenian on Christmas Eve, I sang Mi Ein Surp. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a memory that I hold very dear in my heart. Andrea, who's sitting uh, next to me here, uh, has more of a tradition of uh, a Sunday school background, uh, a, a, a rigorous Christian education. Her father, um, I'll let her talk more about that. Uh, but to bring these two combinations, what we wanted to do through this CD and through all the work that we've been doing through the music program at St. Leon Sunday School is how do we provide a bridge or a link from the downstairs classroom to the upstairs church badarak. And it was something that, um, that we had faced as individuals. Uh, how can we feel a connection as we were growing up to the badarak, as well as having that Christian foundation of an education? Uh, to have that familiarity with the music, to smell the incense, to feel the candles, uh, to to really participate for a lifelong connection to the Armenian Church. Well, as Nivea said, we have a very diverse community, and um, we have a lot of families, uh, non-Armenian families, half-Armenian families, and many of them do not speak the language. And we realized that as educators, as Sunday school educators, these children do need to learn about our church and about our faith. But they're going up and they're listening to the beautiful songs, but they don't really know what anything means. So we were so fortunate that we found the um, translations, uh, the uh, translations, the transliterations of the Yermalian uh, songs, Badarak. And we started very simply with uh, Sur Pasvads, and we saw that the children very quickly picked up the Armenian, but they didn't really know what the song meant. Mm -hmm. So we said, let's teach them the English to to the, the same tune, let's teach it to them. Well, they picked that up very quickly. And as we're teaching, families, grandparents, parents would be hanging around and they were excited that they were learning. Some of them didn't know what the song actually meant. And I think that's where it took off. From there, we said, let's keep teaching them some of these songs, because the familiarity of hearing a song in church is when they go to any church anywhere in the world, they're going to they're going to know those songs. They're going to hear those songs, no matter what language they are. But as Americans, they'll now know the meanings of those songs, praising, rejoicing the Lord. The experience, as Never says, it's a sensory experience. It's not just hearing, it's also seeing, feeling, smelling. So we want to have, have the total experience for the children. And I, I think that that might be part of the allure of our Sunday school. The diversity of the Sunday school has really brought so many people to us. And we're, we're so fortunate, we're so blessed. So many have sacrificed mm-hmm. so much for those good apod words for mm-hmm. us to worship in the same way that our ancestors have for thousands of mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is to honor their memory, not only through survival and through thriving after, you know, we can say after the, the, the centennial that we enter now, but um, for us to support our families and our children to provide them with the tools to support Karapar, because no one's speaking Karapar. Uh, we are only worshiping in Karapar. So uh, in order to maintain that in our churches and to keep it alive, we need to provide these tools. And we have stumbled on these tools. Mm-hmm. Andrea, I think you can agree that we have stumbled on this tool of using this English translation. I've been singing the Badarak since I'm five, you know, five years old. Andrea has been in the Armenian church since she can walk and talk. 
uh, we did not know mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. these shotguns and hymns meant mm -hmm. until we started working with these children. I think it is spectacular. Christos y match. Christ is in me. That's probably the as much as I knew about that song, mm -hmm. uh, that hymn. And it's just amazing immediately the connection you feel to the church when you finally realize what you're saying and, and it gives a whole new feeling to the way you worship in the church. Mm -hmm. And again, this is what we want for our children. This is what we, we want them to have that feeling that it's home for them. Well, the best way to support this project is the old-fashioned way, which is actually purchasing a physical CD. Uh, in that per uh, physical CD, there's an eight-page booklet of uh, the lyrics, uh, both transliterated uh, mm -hmm. for a facility for the non-speaker, transliterated with the Karapar lyrics, as well as the English lyrics. And um, Andrea uh, wrote these lovely intro Beautiful. notes uh, to explain uh, what the song, the significance of the song within the Divine and Liturgy. When, and when the song. And, and when the song is mm -hmm. sung. Uh, and um, really that's the best way to support. It's also available for download. Um, the CDs can be purchased uh, through the St. Leon Sunday School. They can be uh, purchased through Amazon.com or CDBaby.com. They can also be downloaded uh, if you just want the music portion, not with the explanations, mm -hmm. but just the music to listen to through iTunes as well as cdbaby.com. Well, this journey with Neved has just been an unbelievable one for me. I'm hoping it was for her as well. I'm sure it is. Yes. Um, I, the joy that I get from, from doing this, for finally having this come to fruition, we've always talked about how can we share this because we're so blessed to come from this large parish. We, we really wanted other people to have the same experience, right. other churches, other Armenians, really anyone to have the same experience, the joy of worship, love, love of our church, love of our Andrew Lord. Said, we're very fortunate to come from this area. We have five Armenian churches within a very close driving range, uh, and, and they're all uh, burgeoning and successful. Uh, but there are those Armenians that live away from an Armenian church who really can only attend for special occasions, whether it's a hokehangist. And it's really a non-judgmental statement. But when a child walks in to a church, let them be familiar with what they're going to expect through putting this CD directly into those families' hands mm -hmm. that live far away from an Armenian church. Oh. When that child walks into a church, they'll say, hey, mommy, I know that song, and I even know what it means. Mm -hmm.